hey guys what's up welcome back to another vlog i am miss lovely carlo whatever you want to call me it doesn't even matter how y'all doing how y'all doing how y'all doing today happy tuesday y'all it is officially february the first it is love you wary okay love you wary this is where my name initially my stage name is lovely this is the month of where it came from okay my core value is love i love you and nothing you can do about it you guys i am so excited today is february the first tuesday and for the last 21 days my husband and i have been doing a 21 day fast and today is the first day that i am breaking my fast and i was like you know what what better way to do it than doing a solo lunch date and breaking my fast with just me loving on me because i deserve it i deserve it to take myself out on a nice lunch date I'm getting ready to get baby girl settled in and then I'm getting ready to head out and y'all gonna roll with me while I endure my first solo lunch date for 2022 well is my first solo lunch date probably not but it's probably the first one that I've recorded for you guys so I've got on this half a top uh, shoulder black top with the lips on it just some black pants and my black harachis did a little bit of something to my hair you guys and i'm so excited i haven't decided exactly where i'm going to eat at just yet but i know it's going to be something that i've been putting away for the last 21 days and i've been my husband and i had agreed that we're not going to do any sodas we went, we put away sodas uh fried foods and also energy drinks um so those are the three food items that we laid aside and in the presence and we just laid before god and some things that we we wanted revelation on and we got it and i'm just so happy about it um i'm unfortunate he can't break the fast with me today because he's out working um uh, making a living for us you guys and i just thank god that i have a husband that's able to provide um but we'll, we'll talk about that on another another day. But for the month of February, you guys, I'm going to be bringing you guys some type of content centered around love, centered around self-care, self-motivation, self-development, all for the month of February. It's going to be the month centered around love. I am Miss Lovely. You guys know me. Y'all want to roll with me? You can roll with me. Y'all already know how it go. You can ride with me. Don't ask for nothing. Don't touch my radio. Sit and look pretty, but you got to put your seatbelt on. Y'all ready to roll and lovely? All right, y'all, let's go. I finally got my rental. Thank you, Jesus. Okay, thank you, Lord. Ooh, so I'm able to... I'm mobile again, even though I was mobile before, but it's just something about being able to... Why are these lights on, child? I don't know how to... I'm still trying to work this... Trying to figure out how to work this car. I've always, I was always mobile whenever my car was down um, and I refused to drive it <laughs> the way that, in the condition that it was in, but I just chose to, um, why is the brake on? Try, how to work this, okay. So, you, why is the, how do I release the brake? Um, okay. This is not good. That's the hood. Okay, so where's the parking brake? Park button? Okay, here we go. All right, I had to take my glasses off, child, to see. I can't hardly see how to do work this thing. All right. Ready to roll. Okay, let's roll. Okay, 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 let's roll. So you guys, 
guys, I just want to share the talk to you guys really quick while I get my destination going. Um, so if y'all hear the GPS, y'all know she can be risk respectful sometimes. Risk respectful, yeah. But one thing that turn I turn right onto West Morgan Street, then your destination will be on the left. Wait, you said turn right or left? Oh, you said turn right. Oh, child. See, I can't multitask. Okay. Um, so what I wanted to share with you guys really quick is come while I was coming off the fast and some things that I had really been putting forth an effort to changing something about myself, how I can really become a better, a better person, a better wife, a better mother. Um, cause we're all human here. You know what I'm saying? We, we're all, uh, going to be flawed in some type of way. Um, and there are times when there are things that we have we have like habits that we we is hard to break we have your destination is on the left oh okay there we go there are certain situations um that certain things that we don't really we don't like about ourselves um so i it was something that i really wanted to change about myself and coming off the fast i'm really i'm really wanting to to start incorporating this and I'm, I'm being very transparent here with you guys because I don't know who this might help. But because I am such an alpha female, I have a tendency of being not as humble as I feel like I should be sometimes. Um, and a lot of that has to do with me being a single pa a parent, single parent, a single boss. You know what I'm saying? Before I met my husband... I, w I was the one in the relationship was that was the one that was the breadwinner. I was the one that made stuff happen. You know what I'm saying? So when I got married to an alpha male, we we clashed and we still clash. You know what I'm saying? Because there are certain things that you just ain't going to come to me any kind of way with or whatever. And I'm having to understand and realize that, okay, Carla, you need to pipe down some. Pipe, pipe it down some. Like, this man said he got it allow him to have it um but i i'm i've i'm a work in progress i'm a work in progress because to give you guys an example um i'm gonna just part right here for a quick second to get to give you guys an example so i had mentioned to my husband um i think this was around around the month of the end of November around December and I had already been telling him that I wanted another tripod but I wanted a better tripod than the one that I had well he uh, heard what I was saying and he listened to what I said and he bought me a tripod for Christmas but because I wanted a tripod when I said I wanted one I went ahead and bought one and he was trying to surprise me on Christmas with the tripod but because I was so, I need it now, I want it now, I ain't going to wait for you, I'm not waiting for you. When I say I want something, I want it right then and there. It was like, it was like the, the boss in me, the, the non, the, the non-compliant me wanted to, you know what I'm saying? Like, go ahead and get what I needed to get because that's what I wanted right then and there. But in reality... If my husband, once he heard that, once he heard me say that I was wanting to get a, another, I needed another tripod, he had already had it in his mind that he was going to get me a tripod, which he got me the tripod, but it was because I didn't get it when I wanted it. I went ahead and just purchased it myself. And so to make a long story short is I want to work on being more humble. Um... I have a tendency of jumping off the handle really, really quick. If I see something that needs to be corrected, I, I have a tendency of jumping on it, saying what I need to say right then and there versus allowing things to kind of marinate a little bit, thinking before I speak. Um, and I don't know if that's just more so the assertiveness in me, but being a wife, there are times when... I don't want to pipe down. You say what you're going to say, and I'm going to say what I'm going to say, and that's going to be that. Like, you're not going to just say X, Y, and Z, that, 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 and I'm not going to say, that, 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 that. That's just a bad habit that I have adopted, and I understand that I need to work on that about myself. Um, so, coming off the fast, I realized that that is something that I'm wanting to work on, and ladies, 
ladies and gentlemen ask yourself this question what is it that you really want to work on what are what are some bad habits that you want to break what are some some characteristics about yourself that are not necessarily the healthiest characteristics that could always use some some polishing up you know what I'm saying because listen we're all out here trying to make it in this world we're all out here trying to shine bright we're all out here trying to make it we all out here trying to make a dollar out of 15 cent but in the process what are we doing to better ourselves so ask yourself this question what is it that you what are you flawed about that you feel like you could get better at what is it that you can do as an individual to make you become one one step better than you were yesterday? You sh we should never try to be in competition with anyone else but ourselves. Being in competition with nobody else. I'm, I'm only in competition with being a better version of Carla today than I was yesterday. You feel me? And I just wanted to share that with you guys. And y'all comment down below. Put it in the comments and let me got let me let me know that you know what I'm saying. That there are some things that you too want to work on, and, and that you do feel like you need to, to to polish up on and try to work on to become a better person. Let's talk about it in the comments, um, and let's have a moment of transparency here, okay? But anyway, I'm just sitting here rambling. I need to find okay. So the restaurant is around the corner, and I need to find parking. And I am parking in the wrong spot, so I call y'all back. Let, let me let me find my, my let me find my whips about myself. Take it away, take it away. Feeling too good to me. Chilling all day, all in your space is where I wanna be. Here in this room, what did you do? I just can't get enough. Too caught up in your love. I've been trying to forget. But you won't let me Something in my brain wants you I've been hanging by myself Asking for help But nothing seems to work on you Yeah, you You always make me feel like oh yeah You never leave my thoughts alone Yeah, you You're the reason Yeah, maybe you're brave, boy, you're my weakness Giving we take, the love that we make It's my favorite drug Too caught up in your love I've been trying to forget But you won't let me Something in my brain holds you I've been hanging by myself Asking for help But nothing seems to work on you Bye. 
Y'all, when I say that was everything, just those moments of me eating those fries was good. The fish was good. The soda was good. Oh my gosh. Nothing like it, y'all. Ooh, it was so good. Let me put on my glasses. Hold on. All right, so back in rolling, back in action. Y'all look like y'all kind of crooked. Ooh, and I am full. I'm glad I didn't get two pieces of fish versus one. But I love the scenic route down here. And just in case if you guys were wondering this is this is the uh, downtown area of Raleigh, North Carolina. Um, I don't come down here as much because I don't live like close here or what have you. But if you're ever in the Raleigh area, Raleigh, Durham area, Morgan Street Food Hall is a nice place to come. And it's good y'all it was really good they had other eateries in there and stuff like that and i should have took it taken the camera around to show you guys um but maybe i'll do that another time but oh i'm so full i talked to y'all in the car ciao all right let me lock my door okay so now i'm in the car my belly full your girl is right let me sanitize my hand one more time. Safety is first, you guys. If y'all do these solo dates and, you know what I'm saying, going doing things by yourself, I watch a lot of female vloggers. And just want to say, if you're out and about by yourself, make sure you lock your doors. When you get in the car, lock your doors, okay? Trust no one. I got my mace on deck trigger trigger finger ready okay yes ma'am i'll be ready honey oh and just in case if anybody asks this is juvia's place and it is in the color Kiss Me. It's a really pretty nude pink. And this is what the box looks like. By Juvia's Place. Just in case if you were wondering. And I bought me a fresh pack of gum the other day. And I'm about to pop that in right now. Because I don't want to be... I want to get that. Um, even though the fish didn't taste... Um, it, it didn't smell fishy. But I still want to get that have some fresh breath in the meantime okay all right so I got that there that's that on my seat belt um, let's see who's just texting me who is this Oh, my aunt just sent me a picture of her and my mom saying she missing my mom. I miss her too. She just sent me a picture of this, y'all. Well, let me see if I can show y'all. My mom is the one in the back, the light skin one. My aunt, the one that's uh, the front one, the first one, that's my aunt. She's She lives in another state. My mom is the one behind her. And again, that's her. I miss my mama so much, y'all. I miss her so much.
If you guys have a mother and she's still living, count your blessings, honey. Tell her you love her. You spend as much time as you can with her. If y'all had a disagreement, you're falling out about something, life is so short. Cherish your mother because it's, it's those of us out here that don't have moms anymore. And if it if I could ever... Let me... I don't want to talk about that. We'll talk about something else, y'all, because... Anyway, I I call you back. Nobody I know got killed in South Central LA. Today was a good day. So I made it back home and I did stop by Aldi real quick just to see their spring candles. Um they have actually gone up on their candles. They used to be I think they used to be like $3.99 or like three something, but now I notice they're like four something. But of course, y'all know it's an inflation and everything. Bacon gone up, chicken, meat, everything has really is just gone up. Labor is low. So y'all already know it's an inflation and everything. But I think they were like $4.50, $4.99, right at $5 a piece. I think $5 or less or whatever. But I ended up getting these two candles. This is the Bayberry Vanilla have my face so I got the Bayberry vanilla uh, it's a soybean scented candle It's by the brand hunting home and I'm not really good at destroy describing scents or whatever so it does have the vanilla scent to it and it does have the berry scent to it as well but I'm not really that good at, at describing stuff but it is like a real fresh, clean scent, um, and it smelled really good. And then I also picked up the Cabana Linen, and it looks like this. Focus, why don't you? Very good. And this one, it smells like you washing clothes. Like this one literally smells like clean linen, clean clothes that just got out the washing machine and the dryer. And it does say Cabana Linen, so it does own up to its smell. It smells yummy. It's nothing like walking into a house that you, you hear the dryer going and those fresh fresh sheets. This candle, it's it's giving it's giving those vibes. Yes, definitely, definitely so. So I got that candle as well. And those are the only two candles that I saw. They did have some other scents, but I wasn't too keen of those scents or what have you. So I didn't get those. Um, so yeah guys, so I'm thinking I'm going to end the video here so I can go ahead and get it edited and uploaded for you guys because I want this video to go up today. And I think that's my son. Yep, my, I thought I saw my son just come in. So he's about to have a, he's about to have a conipsis because between them kids and them dogs, they're like three peas in a pod. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, hey, hey son. So yes, yeah, so I'm going to end the vlog here. I hope you guys have enjoyed hanging out with me today. And you guys just remember what I said earlier in the vlog. And I love you guys. Make sure you keep looking good. Make sure you keep smelling good. And I will see y'all on my next video. Bye.